Hey guys, Clifford here from Unifoil. I'd like to show you the new Hyper 2 and just talk about a few differences between the Hyper 2 and the original Hyper 1. The Hyper 1 was the foil that uh, changed foiling as we know it. This is the first high aspect foil on the market. Uh, the new Hyper 2 is going to be released initially in 170 square inches, which is a 1096 square centimeters, 190 square inches, which is 125 square centimeters, and a 210 square inches, which is 1350 square centimeters. So since the, re the initial release in 2017, there have been a few iterations on the Hypers. But now on the Hyper 2, it's a total new redesign from the ground up. Um, the first and foremost thing that I'd like to show you is the change in the profile that we used. So if you look here at this profile, you can see here that the profile is a lot thinner. It has uh, been reduced in its maximum thickness and this maximum thickness has been moved further back, making the foil faster and more efficient. The next most noticeable thing is the bend of the wing. It is a very slight dihedral, moving out to a light anhedral, making the foil easier to turn. The plane shape of the wing has also changed marginally. The Hyper 2 has slightly thinner tips, allowing for even easier wing tip reaching. Hi guys, this is James from Unifoil. Thanks Clifford for talking us through the changes in the new Hyper 2 wing. Let's talk about what these changes mean in terms of performance. First thing to note is the speed. The Hyper 2 is a lot faster than its predecessor. The new thinner profile is more efficient, meaning less drag and increased top end. Second thing to note is the turning. The Hyper 2 has a much tighter turning radius than the original Hyper. Turns are easier to initiate thanks to the down curve and the narrow tips make it easier to roll the mast. Where the Hyper 2 changes the game, again, is in terms of its glide. If ever there were a foil to fully tap into the power of the ocean, this would be it. This is a foil that just wants to fly. The question is, can you keep up with it? And who is the Hyper 2 aimed at? If you want to go faster, pump and glide further, then this is the go-to, whether that's winging, downwinding or prone surfing.